2014 Prius R134 refrigerant. We're going to be putting in 520 grams into this Prius 2014. So let's get this thing filled up. We're down to 300 microns. It's not pulling any lower than that. It has flat lined right there. And basically that's the vapor pressure. Unfortunately, Prius do come with PoE oil, ester oil, and it's super hydroscopic. So when a little atmosphere does get in there, the moisture really doesn't like to let go. And I can actually read the difference on my uh, vacuum when I'm doing it. Uh, we're gonna fill this up. And this is actually one of my really good shops, good quality work, good technicians, good owners, a good office crew. And so customers who come to this shop are really lucky in the San Francisco area. Um, this is actually the shop where I took my car to get worked on and uh, I'm picky <laughs> all right so we got the refrigerant down it's in the liquid position we got the suction side off I turned off the vacuum we have the liquid refrigerant waiting right here at this valve when I open it up the high side valve is open we're ready to fill it and we are filling it to 520 grams so let's zero our meter is zeroed out and let's open it up so i'm gonna let you see here and here so you'll see whoops i'm opening up the wrong thing right here i'm gonna open up the refrigerant and we're gonna watch the weight go up at the same time one two three there we go and you'll see the weight that's the refrigerants going right in because everything is working perfectly because it was properly evacuated. So all the refrigerant will immediately go in with no problem at all. That's it, we are done, finished. So I'll start this up. As you see, 520 grams, we're full. And you can see where the pressure went up. So I'll start this up. We'll come back on a second video and we'll see what the pressures and the temperatures out the dash, the superheat and subcooling are after it runs for a few minutes, uh, once it stabilizes. Be back, video number two, see you.